Hello, I'm Rob, a principal consultant with AWS Professional Services from the AWS office in Herndon, Virginia. Today, I'm going to show you how to resolve issues accessing an encrypted AWS Secrets Manager secret from another account. Let's get started. We're going to use two AWS accounts, one that has the Secrets Manager secret and one that will access it. The browser on the left is the AWS account where I'll create the secret, and the browser on the right is the one I'll use to try to access the secret. First, let's navigate to the Secrets Manager console. Next, let's create the secret. I'm going to use the default AWS Key Management Service key to encrypt the secret. This allows the Secrets Manager service to encrypt and decrypt the secret on your behalf, but only in this account. If I try to access this secret from another account, my request is denied, as we'll see in a moment. I'm going to choose Other Type of Secret. Next, I'll create the value of the secret. I'll provide a name for the secret. I'll also need to create a resource policy for the secret that will determine how the secret can be accessed. For this, we'll create a resource policy allowing account two to access it. Of course, you should further scope this policy to specific identities within account two, like for certain roles. We'll accept all the defaults on this screen. We'll click next. We'll review the settings and then click store. I'll use the second account to try to access it. An easy way to test this is by using AWS Cloud Shell, where I can use the commands line interface to make the request. So I type in the command line interface to call the Secrets Manager API endpoint to retrieve the secret that I just created. Running this command gives me an error stating that the cross account access is not permitted when using the default Secrets Manager service key. Let's go back to account one and resolve this. When you use an AWS managed key, you can't modify the policy. We must create a customer managed key so that we can create a policy that meets our specific needs. Create the new key and then grant permissions that allows the ID of account two to perform the decryption with it. Now that we have our new key, we must re-encrypt the secret that's still encrypted using the AWS Managed Service key. Change the AWS KMS key associated with the secret. Now let's go back to the second account to try to access the secret. Let's run the same command, but this time we'll be able to retrieve the secret. I can view the secret because the identity that I'm using has permissions to do so. What I demonstrated is that if I want to access a secrets manager key from a different account, I need three different permissions. I need a resource policy on the secret. I need a resource policy on the AWS KMS key used to encrypt and decrypt the secret. I need to make sure that the identity requesting the secret, in this case, it's me, has the identity and access management permission to access the secret. And now you know how to resolve issues accessing an encrypted AWS Secrets Manager secret from another account. Thank you for watching, and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. Mm -hmm.